Beautiful friends, beautiful souls, I hope you're having a beautiful day. So what does the month of April hold for us, our future, and the future of our planet? Major shifts, energy shifts, and changes unlike anything we could have ever possibly imagined. April, for sure, is going to be a doozy. So what does lie ahead in the near future? A solar eclipse drama? Will drama break out during the solar eclipse? An attack potentially on America? More big trouble for Israel? And more trouble revolved around bridges? We just saw one bridge go down. Is there a potential another bridge going down in the very near future? I'm going to tell you about that today. The cyber attacks and communication breakdowns that are coming along with a great shaking to humanity that is going to awaken humanity to all the corruption, finally, and so much more. Today, we are going to look at the numerology and the astrology of April so that you can make the best out of the month of April, along with specific predictions and visions that I received from my spirit guides that I'm going to share with you today. This is my April 2024 forecast and predictions. Beautiful friends, welcome to April 2024. It's going to be an amazing month and it's going to be a doozy as well. I want to put out a big happy birthday to all our Aries born in the month of April and our late April Taurans as well. If you have a birthday coming up, then you got to see my video, Most Powerful Day of the Year, because your birthday is the most powerful day of the year. And you need to watch it a few weeks before your birthday so that you can utilize that time window, that 30 days, which is halfway before your birthday, halfway before, a couple weeks before, a couple weeks after, so that you can utilize it. I will have a link right above so that you can take advantage of your birthday. And again, happy birthday to the Aries and the late April Tarns. April, of course, kicks off from the very first day of April with the Mercury retrograde, followed by that very powerful biblical proportion eclipse that's happening on April 8th, as we ride already through the very first tsunami wave of energy in April, with the next big tsunami wave coming on the full moon, April 23rd. Our world is literally about to witness shocking world events igniting in the month of April, but flowing us all the way into the year 2025. Think of it this way. Mother Earth is currently pregnant, and she is about to have her water break on April 1st. And that's when Mercury goes direct retrograde. And that's going to lead into a very long, painstakingly long labor and labor pains, big time, which will eventually, years down the road, give birth, of course, to the new Earth. It's the, the cycle kicking off right now in the month of April that is really going to be challenging. And it's a long road. Like I said, it's a long, painstaking labor that Mother Earth is in. But the outcome and the beauty of that birth afterwards is going to be amazing. In April, with its already very powerful lingering energies, we step into the three universal vibration in the realm of numerology. That three vibration is literally inviting us all to embrace our creativity, to communicate, and to connect with others and make those really amazing connections. The month with that biblical solar eclipse coming on April 8th in the sign of Aries, along with that Mercury retrograde, is going to add so much depth to this cosmic dance that we are witnessing in the month of April. We also have the Devil's Comet coming as well. I will put that all in a separate video that will be out on Monday, April 1st. Keep an eye out for it about the eclipse, the energies, the biblical proportion that it's offering us all, along with specific predictions revolved around that. So you're not going to want to miss that. The number three and the vibration of the number three is all about expressing joy, joy, happiness, and expression and expansion. These are the good qualities of that three vibration. The three is all about getting out there and discovering what's going to make you happy, whatever that may be. Utilize that again with all the magical stuff that's going on in the month of April. It's also encouraging you to speak your truth. 
share your gifts, whatever they may be with others, and explore all these new possibilities that this eclipse is shining upon us when and after, after the darkness of the eclipse goes away, is shining a new light. That's what the eclipse is all about. From, from light to darkness, back to light again. It always ends up with the light. The light always wins at the end, as you know. So again, share your gifts, speak your truth in April, and open yourself up to new possibilities. The solar eclipse in Aries is going to totally illuminate our paths in a bright, amazing way if we allow it to do so. That is the key. It brings in a surge, a major surge of transformative energies, friends. And I mean major. And this transformative energy is literally urging us to step into our power to embrace change. I did a video, I think in January, called Calling Your Power Back. I will try to make sure and put a link up above. It is an amazing meditation that you can step back into your power through this meditation. Be sure to check it out. So the Mercury retrograde in Aries, while often associated, of course, with challenges and all the things that people dread around the Mercury retrograde, Mercury retrogrades can also be really good too. They help us to get rid of things. They help us to clear things out. They help us to fix things when it comes to communications, even though retrograde causes so many issues with communications, of course. That's why there's going to be a communication breakdown in the month of April. I'll tell you about that when I get down to my specific predictions. So this is, you know, we know that there's challenges that come with communications and especially with technology. So we're going to witness that very strongly in the month of April. And this is at the same time, it's a real valuable opportunity for us to reflect and reassess things in our lives in the direction in which we're going. So use this time, the month of April, to sit back and review your goals, realign your intentions and reconsider your approach to life and your approach to the things going on in your life. Remember, it's all about figuring out what's going to make you happy and seeking that out. And you won't know that pottery will make you happy unless you take the pottery class that you always wanted to take. That's just an example, of course. So remember, the challenges that are coming are really merely nothing more than opportunities more than anything. Opportunities that are in disguise and you just have to undisguise those opportunities. It's a stepping stone to literally opening us up for our own personal success. So trust in the divine timing of the universe and keep your faith strong. Embrace the magic of the month of April, harness its energies and let that light shine upon you like never before. Now we move on to the do's and the don'ts for the month of April revolved around that three vibration. Once you know the, the do's and the don'ts of any vibration, even like the Mercury retrograde, you can utilize it to the best of your advantage. And then it's not so dreaded. I used to dread Mercury retrogrades back in the day. I embrace them now. They're great times. See, they're challenging, but every cycle has its own special challenges, right? So the do's and don'ts of the three vibration, starting with what you should be focusing on in the month of April, express yourself, express yourself, get out there, friends, take time to share your ideas, share your thoughts, your creativity, share it with others. If you like music and you do music, go share your music, go play out on the corner and let people hear you sing. It is a month that we definitely need to express ourselves and express all of our amazing talents. Remember to speak your truth and let your voice be heard. Step into your power. Another important do to the month of April, and I say this is an important do every day, all the time, no matter what, and that's embracing joy. Focus on things and activities that actually do bring you joy and happiness. Engage in hobbies, whatever they may be. For me, it's all about playing in the dirt and gardening this time of year. Spend time with people that bring you joy and happiness. Spend time with your loved ones and find reasons to laugh, smile, and be joyful. You'll be glad you did. Always surround yourself and do things that do, do bring you joy and happiness. Ask yourself, does that, will that, or does this bring me joy and happiness? If the answer is no, then what the heck are you thinking? The answer is yes, you know you're making the best decision possible. Always go with that. You always make the best decisions possible. 
Another important aspect to the dues of the three vibration in the month of April is to socialize. Get out, connect with others. It's springtime anyway here in the Northern Hemisphere. Get out, meet new people, expand your own personal social circle. Attend gatherings, especially gatherings with things that you may enjoy. Whether it's a gathering, whether it's an event, or even a music party or, or any kind of party, right? You got to get out, meet new people, and enjoy stimulating conversations that will bring you new connections because April does offer us a great opportunity to socialize and make new connections. So get out there. Go to the party. Don't make up excuses. Don't let the little ego or the fear that's on your shoulder make up excuses. Get out there and socialize, baby. You'll be glad you did. In April, another important do, of course, is to be creative. Be creative. Again, you won't discover your own creativities until you allow yourself to be a bit creative. Explore more creative things and the more creative side to yourself, whether it's through art, music, writing, landscaping, like I'll be doing, whatever it is, get out there, be creative, and allow yourself to create a new form of self-expression. Allow your imagination to run wild and see where it takes you. You'd be pretty shocked in amazing good ways as to where that's going to take you. Remember to always stay positive, maintain a positive attitude, and a positive outlook on your life. Practice gratitude and focus on the blessings and miracles in your life each and every day. The more you do, the more blessings and miracles that will flow into your life. The more you bitch and complain, the more the universe is going to give you to complain about. So, focus on just the blessings and the miracles. And that, are, that is our dues for April. Now we move on to the important don'ts of the three vibration for the month of April. The things that you need to avoid doing. The don'ts. Starting with, do not suppress your feelings. We have that Mercury retrograde that always brings in communications and highlights communications, mostly communication issues. But we can have huge breakthroughs when we don't suppress our feelings and we allow ourselves to communicate. Avoid bottling up your emotions, express how you feel, and do so in a very healthy and constructive manner. Overindulge, while it's also a time to enjoy yourself, of course. The whole joy in focusing and being mindful on joy and blessings, as we said in the do's. So therefore, again, suppressing your emotions is not going to help you in any situation in the month of April. And that could lead to illnesses and diseases in the future. Remember, every disease and issue is often stems from a very specific deep-rooted emotional cause. As we come out of retrograde, so you'll see as we get into late April, early May... Emergency rooms will be more busy than normal and doctors will be busier than normal. Happens after every retrograde. So don't suppress your feelings and allow that to lead you to you know, health problems. Another don't related to the three vibration is don't gossip. I live in a whole town full of gossip. I can imagine the, the cartoon character that they created out of me. I have no doubt. I mean, I already know just pretty pretty you know and people that were your friends aren't your friends anymore and that's because they feed into gossip don't feed into gossip friends refrain refrain completely from spreading rumors or engaging in any kind of negative talk about others practice kindness and practice compassion in your interactions with others and it will make april an amazing month at the same time it's very important that you do not neglect self-care Self-care is important all the time, but it's even more important when we're in that three vibration. Remember, it's all about seeking out what's going to make you happy. And you're not going to be happy if you're not healthy. Healthy and happy don't go together. I mean, unhealthy and happy don't go together. Healthy and happy go together. Don't neglect your self-care. Go out, get a massage, do things that, to take care of yourself on a physical level. Go for a walk. Take care of yourself on an emotional level and more importantly, on a mental level. Because if you suppress all that, you're going to pop because we're going to see a lot of anger outbreaks and a lot of things with anger, which is in my specific predictions in a little bit. So do not do that. Prioritize getting rest, relaxation. Like I said, go for a massage. Nourish your soul. Nourish your body, mind, and spirit. And the uh, last thing, and importantly, is do not fear change. Instead, embrace change. Embrace the changes and opportunities that are coming your way and coming our way. Trust in the process of growth and transformation. 
Because without change, we don't have growth. Without shifting things, that's what these energy shifts and these astrological and numerological cycles are all about. And that three vibration this month is, again, seeking out happiness and doing things that bring you joy and happiness. Make that a very big focus for yourself in the month of April. By following all these do's and don'ts, you can make the most out of the energies of the three universal month in April and experience a fulfilling and joyful time. Don't dread it. Embrace it and enjoy it and celebrate it. Now we move on to the important aspects in the world and realm of astrology for the month of April and how you can take advantage of that as well as taking advantage of our universal month being in the three vibration. Once you know the vibration that we are in universally and universal astrological alignments, along with your personal stuff as well, your personal numerology and all that, you can take so much better advantage of what's going on and what's coming up in your life. And you can also learn to understand why certain things are happening in your life by following all those aspects. So for the realm of astrology in the month of April, the month kicks off on fire right away with us going directly in to the Mercury retrograde in the sign of Aries. Mercury, of course, representing the planet of communication and technology, goes retrograde in Aries, which is going to be a time for us to really review things in our lives. That's why there's going to be so many great awakenings. People are going to start reviewing and looking at things at a deeper level. It's going to be amazing. It's a period to reassess all your goals, uh, your aspirations, your plans, reassess it all especially related to self-expression and assertiveness. Remember, Mercury retrograde is not a time to start new things or start a new business, but it's time to change the plan, start a new plan, and reassess things. Take advantage of that and know that there will be communication issues. So expect there to be problems with the computer or going to a store to purchase something and their credit card machines being down. We're going to see a lot of credit card machines down in the month of April. So carry cash with you. It's always good to have cash anyway, especially as we're stepping into the month of April with all these crazy events, you might need to rely on cash. So make sure you go and get some cash and keep that handy in the month of April. On April 5th, we have Venus entering into Aries because April is an Aries revolution for sure. Venus, the planet of love and beauty, enters into the sign of Aries on the 5th of April. And this is an amazing time when it comes to igniting our passion and to be spontaneous in your relationships. It can make your relationship much more magical. It can reignite relationships that need to be reignited. It's a time to pursue your desires when it comes to relationships and pursue your desires in general and to take bold steps when it comes to matters of the heart. And of course, on April 8th, we have the solar eclipse. The solar eclipse, they say, is of biblical proportion. And that solar eclipse kicking in on April 8th, also in the sign of Aries, is a very rare and very, very significant event. Often associated with new beginnings and profound changes. And that's something we're going to be singing for sure. In Aries, it is encouraging us to embrace our individuality, and to take decisive action towards your goals. Again, it's a powerful time. That's why there's going to be so much change related to this eclipse kicking off. It's already started. It started on the lunar eclipse March 25th. So we're in it, and it's just going to get deeper. And I have a special video that I'll be putting out on April 1st about the eclipse energies, warnings, and predictions revolved around the eclipse. So be sure to subscribe up, up, up above. On April 19th, we have the shiny bright sun moving into the sign of the bull, Taurus, of course. The sun moves into Taurus on April 19th, and that's going to shift focus to practical matters and stability which we're going to need by the time we get to April 19th. We're going to need a lot of stability in the world. And that's what the world's going to be focusing on. That's probably what you're going to be focusing on on a personal level as well. So it's a good time kicking off on the 19th of April to consolidate your resources and work towards financial security. Remember that because there's going to be big drops in the stock market and such, which is in my specific predictions coming up in a few minutes. 
on April 23rd, we have the full moon going into the Scorpion. Scorpio. They will sting you, baby. The full moon is intense as it is always. But this full moon on the 23rd is going to kick in the double energy shift, which I've been following these shifts and spirits been telling me about them for over 15 years. And I, I, I know there has been double, but I can't recall because it's such a rare thing to see double. We had one at the end of last year, actually. Double energy waves. So we had one that came in on March 25th and that lunar eclipse. There's another wave coming in on April 8th. And then that big wave coming in when that full moon kicks into Taurus on April 23rd. It's going to be intense. So therefore, friends, I tell you, your emotions, they're going to come to the surface. It's going to be very, very emotional for people in the month of April as is. But when we get to the 23rd, it's going to heighten emotions. Emotions are going to come out from the deep, deep, deep swamps going to be interesting scorpio brings up emotions scorpio brings emotions to the surface it's going to highlight issues when it comes to trust when it comes to intimacy and of course transformation and of course with the full moon it's always a time to release things that no longer serve your fullest potential on april 29th through till may 23rd we have venus also entering into the bull taurus Venus, again, the planet of love and beauty, is going to move into Taurus, which is going to actually allow us to enhance our appreciation for comfort and luxury. Interesting, right? We're going to need to have that enhanced by the time we get into May, for sure. It's a time to indulge in your pleasures, whatever they may be, and nourish your senses, all your senses. So, you know, whether it's smelling flowers and eating delicious food and listening to some amazing music, that's it's always a good time to do that. But you're going to definitely want to do that when Venus enters into Taurus on the 29th of April through the 23rd of May. We end off the month on April 30th through June 11th with Mars going into Aries. I told you the Aries revolution is here. Mars, of course, is the planet of, of war, conflict. But Mars is also the planet of action and of energy. And it re-enters Aries, intensifying our drive and our determination, which is a wonderful thing. Plug into that energy. You got, and that's a long period of time right there. April 30th, the whole month of May until June 11th. So plug into that energy so that it will intensify your drive and determination. And it's also a period for taking the initiative got to take the initiative friends take the initiative when it comes to pursuing your goals and doing so with courage with confidence and by stepping back into your power call your power back meditate on it follow the meditation i mentioned earlier calling your power back you'll be glad you did so overall April is a month of total transformation and empowerment urging us all to embrace change to take bold steps forward, creating the life that we want and desire. Remember, your future is in your own hands. Your thoughts and words are the blueprints to your future. What you focus on is what universe brings you. That's why I tell you all the time, focus on the blessings and miracles. All the other stuff just doesn't matter. Blessings and miracles every day. You sat down and had something to eat today. That is a blessing and a miracle. The more you focus on it, the more you're going to get. So April, I tell you to stay open for new possibilities, to trust your inner strength, and to guide you through because this is going to be a major transformative time cycle that we just stepped into on April 1st. So now, let us move on to my very specific predictions and visions that Spirit have, has given me to share with you. Before I move on and reveal my specific predictions and visions in which spirit showed me of future events, I want to say Satnam, welcome and hola. Welcome to my channel, back to my channel. My name is Joseph Tittle, aka Spirit Man JT, and I welcome you with infinite love and gratitude. And if you're new here and you want accurate predictions, truth, prophecy, and you want to vibe with the tribe, you got to smash that there, subscribe. Make sure you click the bell, followed by all so that you hopefully get notifications. And you can catch me every single Tuesday for Tittle's Tea Time Predictions Updates, where we reveal top hot topic news stories that relate or may not relate to predictions and prophecy, along with new predictions every Tuesday. 
So if you want to keep up with the predictions, you got to watch every Tuesday. I want to thank all the supporters who make this free content possible for everybody else. Whether you're a member of the community down below, the Awaken Your Spirit community, which you can find the link down below for that as well, and those who send through chat cash, Spotify cash, and all the other types of donations and contributions, I couldn't do it without you. And I thank you with infinite love and gratitude. So shall we move on with specific revelations of the future for April 2024? Keep in mind that when it comes to visions in which I share with you in any of my predictions, it is almost impossible to put a specific date or timeline on many predictions, the majority of them, unless spirit happens to give us a specific timeline, which happen, ha does happen. Like, for example, in March, I felt a huge event and potential attack was going to occur around the date the 22nd, and we saw what happened on March 22nd in Russia. It was in my December forecast, my December forecast and predictions, that I shared this specific vision of a bridge collapsing. Check it vision out. Vision of a bridge collapsing. And in this vision, I'm not clear how it happens exactly, but it happens. I saw in the vision vehicles plunging off the bridge into cold, icy waters. So that makes me believe that I may be either in the United States, especially in the northern part of the United States, so bridges are going to be a big focus for some reason over the next few months. Of course, bridges take us to the other side, helps us cross the road. So we can take this as being symbolic as well. Not only symbolic, a spirit showing me bridges, but I would also tell you to not at all be surprised if we actually see multiple bridge collapses. So I saw that there bridge collapse in visions in the end of November of 2023, and it was in my December forecast and predictions. I always try to do them and put them out before the end of the month. So it was five months after that, predict that vision and prediction that it sadly came into fruition. If we go back to the year 2017, I had visions of people wearing masks on their face all over the globe and also mentioned a major outbreak. We know what happened three years later, just over three years later. So what I'm getting at here is there's no way to put a specific timeline on certain events unless spirit actually gives it to us. So some things happen very quick. I've said things on Tuesday's show that happen the very next day. So that's why you got to stay on top of predictions and keep watching and subscribe. And don't forget to click that like button. It takes so much time. So much energy and effort to put this work out for all of you. So I appreciate that you show your love by clicking that thumbs up love button. I thank you with infinite love and gratitude. Number one in my specific visions and predictions for April 2024 and beyond. On the subject of bridges and bridge collapses. This is just the beginning according to spirit as we see bridges which take us from one side to the other and takes us across the waters. We're going to be witnessing them being shut down due to infrastructure issues and concerns, even storms, big storms that come that affect bridges, along with even a big earthquake that to topples several bridges, mainly interstate bridges, not necessarily over water. There will be one over water. And I've been warning and having visions of the San Francisco Bridge for a long time now. So just putting that out there that's not even my notes but it just randomly came to my mind and i saw the san francisco bridge being shut down at one point moving on to this prediction because again that just spirit just reminded me of that particular past prediction spirit also showed me that there's going to be again bridges being shut down due to infrastructure concerns while we once again witness ships randomly crashing into bridges and other infrastructures i had one vision of a freight ship and I had this this morning. I saw a freight sh ship, <laughs> make sure I say that word right, at a port, ramming into the port at a very high speed. And I saw the steel beams literally melting and bending like butter. Uh, the way that this appeared to me in my vision, I have no doubt that this is another purposeful event. And I say another because whether you believe it or realize it or not, what happened in Maryland was a purposeful event and that was done through cyber attacks regardless of what they're telling you 
And they're not going to be able to cover up that truth. That truth will come out very, very soon. And people already know the truth. That bridge was named after the man that started the song, wrote the song Star Spangled Banner, a symbol of America. And they took out the bridge that symbolizes that. That's very symbolic, friends. Don't believe what they tell you, especially on mass media. So I do see this, this one freight ship gaining great uh, gain speed. It's kind of off the side. It's just like literally like they floor it right into it. And then I see the beams and all melting like butter. And of course, they'll tell us that's an accident too, but it's, gonna do, it's going too fast. So I would imagine that it's going to be major, major damage. I'm not saying this is necessarily within the United States either, but it would be somehow connected in that web of, of ports connected to the United States. So no doubt, again, this is another purposeful act. Somebody ramming it into a port. So it could also be somewhere near Asia, that continent, and it could perhaps be Japan, our friends in Japan. Moving on to number two. I strongly feel that an activation is coming when it comes to the New Madrid fault in the United States. And I know people that live on and near that don't want to hear this, but sadly, it's reactivating. So it was back in the year 1811 that the New Madrid fault shook eastern, southeastern United States. It was huge. They say 8.2. I do not necessarily feel that what's this activation that's coming in, in the month of April for the New Madrid fault I don't necessarily believe that's going to instantly activate a massive quake. It could. There could literally be uh, a massive quake hitting the New Madrid Fault. My feeling on it was it's activating it, meaning that it would be small shakings that would happen first, including shakings in Louisiana, leading up to the massive quake, which may not actually complete the process because it's a process. Spirit said it's part of the Earth shift process being activated this year. So a little quakes first, and I think that, you know, my feeling is is more likely the big, big quake hitting the uh, New Madrid Fault would be between the years 2029 and 2030, when it actually, the big one that actually splits the Great Mississippi and the United States in half. Well, not even in half, it's like a quarter. And that was in prophecy, that was in many of my past predictions and visions that I saw that. So again, I'm not saying that's what's happening necessarily in April, but there is an activation of the new Madrid fault in the month of April, moving on through 2024. And there could potentially be as much as a 7.2, 7.3 earthquake right at the new Madrid fault. Moving on to number three. As I have been warning for a while now, to get ready for a huge stock market crash. I feel multiple events will show obvious song signs in the stock market. I don't know what these events are. World events. I see multiple world events happening, probably somewhat of an attack on America, that will be obvious signs that the stock market's going to take a huge dip. I, will, I feel that this is a planned crash, like they're planning it. The evil globalist elite are planning this crash. All, it's probably connected to these big events that are coming. And no doubt, they're all connected. And for some reason, I feel like, you know, this is all the more reason to purchase precious metals and, 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 and avoid stocks altogether. There's going to be some drops in cryptos as well as crypto, cryptos such as Bitcoin will eventually topple over the $100,000 mark, but that may not be in 2024. I'd say within the next year to two years. But I see drops first. Pay attention to the drops first. Sit back and wait. That's what I'm doing, sitting back and waiting. Number four. I had a vision of a dark cloud. And I mentioned this on my last Tuesday show, but for those that don't, some folks only watch the monthly predictions, I wish you'd watch every Tuesday. You're missing out on good stuff. But I had a vision of a dark cl clouds kind of slowly forming and moving in, getting darker and darker and blacker and blacker over Washington, D.C. I also felt like, it becomes like a fortress again, protected with fencing and, and like it was back, you know, that last election where they made it look like a third world country being protected, protect the um, dictator. That's kind of what it looked like. Well, it's going to look like that again. So interesting. Wonder what's going to happen revolved around that. That's not specifically all the black cloud that I see, though. This big black cloud turns into a big dark and so dark you can't see your hand in front of your face. And then I saw fires. Well, first I saw fires, 
I saw fires revolved around Washington, D.C. I see fires related to the same vision of D.C. But as this dark cloud comes in in my visions, like a terrible storm, I see high winds blowing over the fences, you know, that this fortress that they put there, blowing everything around and blowing it over. The city again, ever so dark. I couldn't see my hand in front of my face, and I heard two loud cracks of thunder. (laughs) And the first bolt of lightning struck the top of the Capitol building as if it was a glass because I heard and saw a vision of glass just shattering down, you know, breaking, breaking the rooftop. It's exactly how it came to me. Then I, this was followed by two double bolts of lightning and there might've been three there. It was so fast of a vision that definitely two, but I'm thinking there might've been three bolts striking the white house, of course, and visions of course that need interpretation. You can interpret them. You want, any way you want, but obviously there's a huge storm coming to Washington, D.C., and that huge storm's going to strike the Capitol building, and it's going maybe it'll bring out the real truth of what really happened on that day. And three, three big strikes to the White House, two and then one, so three big strikes to the White House. So, and I would think that some of this would be coming in, in the month of April, if not definitely between now and November. Number five, I see an outbreak of sorts that's happening in Texas. My friends in Texas, everything's bigger in Texas. And I believe this is a a mosquito-borne bacteria or bug. Something kind of new, a little bit different. That will actually, and has a good aspect to it, friends. There's a good aspect to this. I don't know why, but there is. Uh, That... In turn, this particular thing is going to actually lead to amazing new breakthroughs in treating other illnesses and diseases. I don't know how, but apparently it is. So it's kind of like a miracle bug, even though it's not a miracle when it first comes. Number six, I see a large boom boom taking place. A boom, one of those things taking place. And it appears to me to be some type of a theater. And I feel like these um, boom booms explode earlier than they're meant to be set off, which could actually be a good thing in the aspect that there's less people, maybe no people there that they accidentally go off too soon. Or perhaps, you know, again, no people in the theater would be great. I feel like there's going to be multiple things like this. And a couple places that came to mind were New York, Paris, France, Russia, and the UK. So be safe, friends. Be mindful. Number seven. I see a vision and I'm in Florida. I'm in Florida and I'm near, I feel like I'm near Orlando and I'm gazing off. I'm kind of raised up high, like I'm floating like an angel. It's how some of my visions are. It's really interesting. I wish I could, well, one day you'll probably be able to record my visions and I can show it to you (laughs) because it'd be really cool if I could. But you don't want this to happen to you, trust me. The things that I see and go through my head took me a long time to be able to work through that. So I'm standing in the distance. I'm in Florida. I feel like I'm in Orlando or right outside of Orlando, maybe a town over, kind of gazing towards Orlando. And I'm guessing I'm gazing towards that coast. So, you know, I'm towards the middle. I'll say I'm in the middle of Florida, right? And I'm gazing towards the coast. And I know Orlando and Disney's right there. And that's when I suddenly saw in my vision huge flames just showing up. I was like, you know, I'm seeing the vision and then I see the flames. So that was really strange to me because it was almost like an explosion of flames, but there wasn't an explosion. Uh, And I just saw these flames just reaching high, high up towards the skies. And I feel as I'm standing there watching this, I feel the wind picking up and the winds picking up with this, with this disaster, which we know is a disaster when it comes to wildfires. Look at what happened in Hawaii. And I see people evacuating. And I see people loading buses, perhaps an evacuation also of Disney World. Number eight, speaking of Disney, speaking of that, speaking of those people, Spirit shows me that both Disney Corporation, Disney World, and Disneyland are somewhat cursed, like somebody suddenly put a curse on them. So I call it karma, actually. Disney will uh, endure many mechanical issues with their rides and their attractions causing many people to become stuck on rides and some having to be rescued, along with breakdowns in several fires at both of their park locations. 
So Disneyland and Disney World having issues. This along with uh, some type of new controversy that's coming soon to a Disney theater near you. <laughs> some kind of, con I don't know what kind of controversy this time. Protesters, I have no idea, but something. Something, and this in turn is going to cause them to decline even more in revenue. This is going to eventually force Disney into selling more of their companies. And by the year 2030, I expect Disney Corporation to pull one of those big corporation bankruptcy scams. That's what I call them. Kind of like the big farmer is doing with all the lawsuits. They hire up and claim bankruptcy so they don't have to pay you. They hide their money. Yeah, that would be what Disney would do too, no doubt about it, that they get away with it to get out of paying their debts and their lawsuit settlements because Disney's going to have lots of lawsuits coming their way as well. So number nine, I did predict a similar event to this prediction in the past, but Spirit is bringing it up again, which means to me that this could be something that's coming more into fruition in the very, very near future. I see major issues breaking out for Egypt. Big, big shakings that are coming to Egypt and to Cairo, Egypt. So of not just Egypt as a whole, but specifically, of course, on top of that, Cairo. And Cairo is going to be hit the hardest, according to Spirit. I would expect this to be multiple causes, multiple different things happening, and a great shaking in Egypt, starting with a huge earthquake that shakes up starting with a huge earthquake and then shakeups in their government, bringing changes in leadership in Egypt and even a potential biological incident. I'm not saying it's necessarily attack. I mean, it could be an attack, probably is, but it could be just an incident. You know, like, I don't know, like say a nuclear power in incident. It's not that, but that's just my example. That's going to cause some type of an outbreak. And when Spirit was showing me that this morning and adding to it, because that's why you got to follow all the time, I get predictions, like puzzle pieces. As time progresses or as we become closer to those events coming into fruition, I get more details or more information. So I've, I've touched on big shakings in my channel predictions with Cairo. But Spirit touched on it this time with the biological stuff and also that it reminded me and made me feel like it was like the biblical plague in the Bible hitting the Egyptian government. Number 10. I do warn you that people are truly, truly friends. I warn you, they're going to be off their rockers in the month of April. I mean, people are off their rockers already. Not like you're going to see in April. Off their rockers in April, and once again, we're going to witness crazy people becoming even crazier. We are going to begin to see people acting out in more anger, which will bring about, of course, more pow pow type events, including a pow pow event that happens in a shopping area. I believe this is in Tex Texas, but in a shopping area. We will witness off the wall events such as people using vehicles as weapons, driving them into whoever or whatever they want. I see several vehicles plunging into either buildings or structures. It was very strange. Again, it reminds me of that movie just popped in my mind, Leave the World Behind. You know, in that movie, Leave the World Behind, the first thing happened was their cellular communications went out, right? What just happened back on February 22nd, there's that 22 number again. They loved it. The evildoers love to use certain numbers and 22 is a big one that they use basically telling you that they're responsible. And that's when all those uh, 13 hours of cell phone outages in the United States, that was the first thing in the movie. Second thing in the movie was the ships losing, you know, being cyber attacked and just crashing into the coastlines. What just happened this past week. Just saying friends, there's no coincidence. It's like they're winding up and getting ready to go. And I have more details on that in a minute. But I do want to warn people that, again, that people are going to be kind of acting out. So keep yourself grounded. Don't worry about those people. Don't plug into their energy. Or do what I teach my students. I am unplugging from your energy. Thank you. Unplug from it. Turn around. Walk away. Just do, do that. Because people are just difficult as is. And the difficult people are going to be more difficult than usual. The, the you know miserable people are going to be more miserable than normal. It's, it's just the way it is because it's not flowing through the energy. Whereas these retrogrades and all these energies can actually help us release, release that. 
So if you have been miserable, this energy can actually help you shift out of that. Or if you haven't been feeling well, this energy can help you feel better. So it's got its benefits. Mercury retrograde isn't always that dreaded of a cycle. It's actually a very powerful cycle backed up now with the eclipse, energy shift, and everything else that's going on. So uh, again, pow pow at a shopping event, shopping place, that I believe may be Texas, uh, and then people using vehicles. And it just felt weird because it felt like all these vehicles plunging into like buildings and stuff. Maybe it's a cyber attack. I have no idea, but it just felt really strange. And I, it reminds me, I just had a recent prediction revolved around vehicles and people. New York City, I warned. That was on Tuesday's show, so go back and listen to that and those predictions. Number 11, prepare yourselves, if that's even possible, friends. If that's even possible. I'm prepared. I just got an electric generator. I just got, I got rifles, but I got one for my hand. Uh, I just ordered a portable shower that's battery operated, just in case. I have tons, 35 gallons of water stored. This is what you got to do, friends, especially now with all these warnings and all. And I'll do that in my Eclipse video. So make sure you keep an eye out. That'll be out on Monday, April 1st. So prepare yourselves again, if possible, for major outages of all sorts, friends. I mean, all sorts of outages. Prepare for power outages. No matter where you live, doesn't matter. Prepare for, for power outages, especially folks in the United States on the East Coast. But it doesn't matter where you are. Just this is what Spirit said. Prepare yourselves for major outages of all sorts. So it's not just power. Uh, prepare for power outages no matter where you are. But also the eclipse energy and the events are going to cause huge outages in the United States and other places, but especially in the United States. And incoming solar flares, sun flares later this month is going to also add to the effects of the power and affect somebody's power grid. It's a small one. And I don't feel like it's United States, maybe somewhere in Africa. And I feel like it has to be replaced wherever, who is ever in the path of that sun flare when it hits the earth. So, but it felt like a small area to me and even more. So the outages is going to be communications friends. Just like what we saw on February 22nd with all the cell companies and people panicking. Expect there that, that to happen. That's why it's good to have even one of those cellular phones. You can get them pretty cheap now. Cell, uh, satellite phone. I'm sorry. Satellite phone. I thought about getting one of them. Especially when I'm hiking and stuff. Sometimes you hike and you don't have a, a reception. That happened to me once. Lost somewhere. You couldn't get reception. Couldn't, couldn't connect with anybody. It's a satellite phone. I guess I'll add that to my list of um, prep, prepped items. So communication issues, friends, widespread internet outages, spirit said, and the outage of a satellite that's going to affect certain people's television signals. And I believe it may be um, like direct TV or anybody who, whatever satellite direct TV uses. And I know other countries use that same satellite, different companies, I guess they share it or whatever. That satellite is what I believe it will be. It's, it's going out, something's happening, it'll get fixed eventually, but I feel like they're out for a while. And alarming amounts of communication outages. More concerning, again, for the United States, as I do know, without a doubt, that an attack is coming to the United States in the near future. Number 12. Spirit alarms the world that both Iran, China, this is very important, friends. Very, very important. And I will put more details about this in a future video. Because it aligns with my visions and other prediction, uh, remote viewers and such. So, spirits alarming the world that both Iran, China, and Russia, except Russia is backing out of this agreement and will at the last minute. So, that leaves us with China and Iran, who are together planning a widespread attack that hits to the United States, the United Kingdom, England, France, and I feel like I'm missing one. I feel like there's another one in there. I don't know who it is. The, they, they plan on going after infrastructure through a combination of cyber attacks and a major pow pow events in the streets of cities such as New York City, Chicago, and LA. That's why I told you I just got one for my hand. I got my rifles, shotguns, um, and supplies, whatever you need to just be sure, just to be sure. Because you just never know that if you have to bunker down or what have you. Better be prepared than scared. 
better be ready. I don't have anything that goes with that. <laughs> so, um, so spirit alarms again that they are using together a combination. Here's the here's the whole play out of what they're doing. The overall plan is to disrupt the United States and its closest allies in order to give China the edge on taking over Taiwan. See, because they know that the United States and all the allies are going to interfere when they go into Taiwan. So why not set up sleeper cells and attacks through cyber and every other form possible? And if you go back to my predictions, Spirits reminded me, going back at least over a year ago, it might have been two years ago, Spirit said that I that China, with somebody else, was planning a multiple attack to attack multiple places at the same time. And I remember when I uh, said that in the video, someone, military guy, and said that's not a good strategy. And then now that we think about it and we got the strategy down, I think it's a damn good strategy. That's the one they're using. They're not going to completely succeed, but Taiwan must be prepared for an overnight attack when the U.S. is hit. Taiwan will come, the hit on Taiwan will come within hours after whatever happens in U.S., U.K. and such. So if they, if they actually prepare, if like we could get that message to them and prepare now, and if we all ourselves prepare now, they will have a much larger chance of a very quick failure. So this is very well could play out during the eclipse. Could. So China can make it appear prophetic. That's why they would do it at the eclipse, to try to make it look prophetic, you know, fool the, fool, the, fool, fool the peoples. Overall, and it's still prophetic no matter what. Overall, this, they would succeed, but they would also fail, is what Spirit said. And I didn't really quite get that. They will succeed, I guess, succeed in the beginning. That they'll, they'll ignite their mission, but they'll fail at it. Both. And I'm not saying that it's definitely coming in the month of April, friends. I hope it don't come at all. I hope I'm 100% wrong. But I think, I, ha I truly believe in my heart and soul that I figured out the plan. I And I'm the first one to figure out their plan. That's their plan. That's what they want to do. Come in and, and throw these attacks to us and our closest allies so that they can go in and have Iran and all them back them up. And they're testing the waters. They tested the cell phone out in February. They tested out the boat. Boat, in, you know, uh, there's probably another test coming in the next week before something happens. So I'm not saying, saying again, it's April, although it is very, very likely. But my other timelines for this event happening in this attack would be August, October, November. And if not that this year, definitely, definitely is happening in 2025. Number 13, um, we are all very aware of the corruption that follows our politicians, leaders, and celebrities. But this rabbit hole is so deep that that rabbit hole leads directly to hell, according to Spirit. This, along, this is all going to... Well, not all, but this is about to be exposed on major levels with the combination of events igniting in April and taking us into 2025. Slowly, Spirit showed it to me as a slowly seeping out, like water seeping out of a hairline crack on a water pipe. So it'll be interesting to see, but that's going to start this month. That's definitely this month. So number 14. I see some type of an outbreak concern breaking out, and I feel that this may be in Africa and also a combination of India comes to mind as well. I see areas being blocked off and people in hazmat suits. That wasn't good. Speaking of hazmat suits, I see another event breaking out where I see a hazmat suited people around an airport. And I also see outside a large city building, people in hazmat suits. Outside of a big building, which like a big building, like kind of like in New York. I don't know where this is, but that's what Spirit showed me today. These are all new, and I'm sure I'll get more information as time progresses. It's all the more reason to smash that subscribe and hang out with us every Tuesday. Five, last but least, number 15, I see huge breaks and those getting caught up in traffic with the little ones, if you know what I mean. If you follow me long enough, you know exactly what I mean. Huge breaks in those little ones. And more huge roundups of criminals related to these rings. We see what's happening with P. Diddy, things like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's all coming out. And this, all this crime's coming forward. 
and we're going to see big busts in these rings and big busts happening. And we're also going to see a rescue of at least 100 little ones. We will see more breaks in the Epstein rings and we will also have more exposed on levels unimaginable. Can't wait for that. Can't wait for that. And I finalize you today with the important dates of important events. And we might be able to nail those events with predictions. So again, you got to tune in every Tuesday, April 7th, 8th, and 9th. I got three days, not just the day of the eclipse, the day before and the day after. April 11th, the 13th and 14th, the 22nd and 23rd, and the 30th. That's a lot of dates. I don't usually get that many dates for a month. So it's going to be a busy month, friends. And there you have it, my beautiful friends and beautiful souls. I really hope that you enjoyed the April forecast and specific predictions. If you did, please, again, hit that love button, the thumbs up, show your love. It helps get this information out to others. Please share it on your social media. Let people know they can get the breakdown of everything, numerology, astrology, and specific predictions each and every month. Also, sign up for my newsletter down below. And if you want a private session with me, you want to find out about classes or anything else, go to josephtittle.com, T-I-T-T-E-L. Or to make it easier, just go to spiritmanjt.com, and you can find all the information there. And again, don't forget to join me on Tuesday. I thank all the supporters who make this free content possible for everybody else. I love you so much. I hope you all have an amazing month of April and beyond. Make the best of it. Celebrate life. Celebrate you. Be kind to others as you wish others be kind to you. And remember to be bold, be true, be kind, be you. Because you are awesome. Get out there and let your awesomeness shine like never before. And have a beautiful rest of your day. Namaste and much love, friends. <laughs>